we have got to understand then that there are certain preambles that we have to understand. And I will not go through them now, but you need to look at uh, the 13th Amendment. And I say this to you youngsters. You need to look at the 14th Amendment, and you need to look at the 15th Amendment. And you need to understand that they are foundations for you to behave as total and complete human beings. And that you should not, in the 21st century, have to deal with the color problem. My husband, when I was courting him, or when he was courting me, or when we were running around the mulberry bush trying to figure out who was doing what to whom, <laughs> wanted to ask me, what is your ethos? What is my what? <laughs> I like one of us a lover and a husband. He said, what is ethos? He said, you have to constantly define and re-examine your purpose in life. And I asked you young intellectuals, what is your purpose? Don't tell me about your parents' purpose. What is your purpose? What is your aim? What are your objectives? What is your agenda? Those are questions then you need to ask yourself. Welcome, brothers and sisters, to Under the Sun. I'm Zidi, your host, and I'm here with one of my sheroes, and that's Dr. Betty Shabazz. Welcome, Dr. Shabazz. Thank you very much. Thank you for being on location here with us at the Hilton. Mm -hmm. Dr. Shabazz, you are one of the key sources of starting Mega Evers. Can you talk about how that got started and how you kept it going strong? Well, let me just let, tell you that part of the history of Medgar Evers College probably is not told as frequently as it uh, should be, but it actually started out with some uh, young brothers who um, had uh, gotten involved with a community profile and uh, felt that uh, they needed a college in Brooklyn because a, a number of the youngsters were not being admitted uh, in the surrounding colleges. And so that to solve all of those problems, they, they felt they should have a problem in that area. And uh, they uh, stayed in the park for about two years, uh, set up housekeeping in the right. park. And then um, it reached the attention of uh, a, a council, a, a community council. Um, and uh, then they debated it for a while, and then um, it reached the Board of Education, Board of Higher Ed, that is. And, uh, you know, the rest is history. But it was uh, many years in the making, the organizational stage, the attention stage, long before it became an institution. 